All right, everybody. I'm just going to go over a couple of quick installs here. Um, somebody sent in a E5 for DCC and sound conversion. It already had DCC in it. It had a uh, looks like a TCS KOD8 series board, and then a F7A Kato, which there have been like 10 million of these things made. That one had a looks like a Digitrax. Uh, board of some kind k d163 ko would be the board um so this is an e5a and so what i've done here is i've tapped into i found another factory light board because the decoder doesn't do me any good and tapped in a v5 micro there's a machined frame here so i can fit an 11 by uh 17 sugar cube in there and then also in a lot of the E5s, I've installed sound in over time, but not all of them. I've separated out the Mars light and put that on its own independent function. So since I had done this for this uh, customer, we moved over here to this F unit that I had to do next. Normally I don't separate the Mars light out on here, but figured since I was already in here and did it for that one, I would go in there and do it for this one. It's a little tighter in here, so it's more of a pain to get everything to fit correctly. But, uh, yeah, so that's that. The same thing, you know, this is had a factory, or not a factory, a uh, Digitrax board in it. I replaced it with a factory light board that's been tapped onto and, and modified slightly. 11 by 17 speaker. This frame has been machined. It's got a shorter baffle on it because you don't have any height in there. Uh, the light pipe has been clipped down a little bit into two separate pieces and heat shrunk on. This one has uh, 0402 golden white leds that have been worked in here and then they go to a resistor bank in here and then they go to your your white which would be your forward and then your uh, green which would be your aux one same thing over here only this one i'm just using scrap boards from leftover uh dcc projects because i got a lot of them and there's more space to work with in there so anyways we'll get some video of this next all right, this is just some quick down and dirty video of the F7A in Santa Fe and uh, CB and QE5. These both have separate independent Mars lights on them. So what we'll do is we'll just uh, fire this guy up. We've got headlight. Start him up. His uh, F6 controls the Mars light on here. Uh, so replace the front coupler because that was gone. Yeah, let's see what we got here. There we go. Woo. All right, F7A with the SEO Lokes on V5, and I'm gonna switch this over to the E5A. And through the magic of hitting the pause button, here we are, just swapped out the E5A. It's a very similar install. Uh, both the headlight and the Mars light are independently controlled with surface mount LEDs that have been uh, wired into the separated out clear lens pipes on there. So without further ado, we get some sound.
And there you go. E5A with ESU Log Sound in it and uh, F7A with ESU Log Sound, both with separate operating Mars lights. Um, I've been asked before, yes, you can play with the timing and the uh, of the Mars light function on there. I generally don't, but it's something that can definitely be adjusted if you so desire. That is one of the beauties of Log Sound decoders. Um, other than that, hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.